Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I want to talk about another lighter I got from uh, buylighters.com. This is a uh, table lighter I was really interested in. I actually got two different table lighters, so you'll see the other one in a future video. But uh, I use this one first and I really like it. It is super cool. Um, pretty interesting design here. We have a massive reservoir. I mean, it's a very large lighter. To give you a comparison, here's a Zippo I just got from a viewer, which you'll see in another video. But there it is next to a Zippo for size comparison. You can see how big this reservoir is to hold that butane. And you're gonna need a lot of butane because a lot of flame comes out of here. It's called the uh, Rocket Red Quad Torch because it has four burners on it. And uh, if you notice the three pieces of metal, once I light this, you'll see them better because they're gonna glow. That actually creates a chemical reaction which gives the flame a red color, okay? So first off, you see there's a chain and a cap here. So when you're not using it, it keeps that clean, free of dirt and debris and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, which is good. I mean, I don't, I probably prefer a tip flipping up or something like that, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, what's nice though is that you can flip it around and pop it on the back, you know, if you didn't want to use that or, or during use so you don't have it hanging. But basically, there's a big old button, pull down, you can see it starts off blue, and as those pieces of metal heat up, which you might be able to see in there, you get a red coloration. And you can probably see this a lot better. I'm going to do this uh, in the dark in a little bit just to give you another demo so you can see the red better. But in person, it's much more red than you're seeing through the, uh, the video here. But um, basically, we have an adjustment on the bottom, which is uh, right around our fill hole. So that's where you put your butane. You can see the plus minus. And there's also, instead of having like a slot to use a screwdriver to turn it, it's actually protruding out, which is nice. So you can use your fingers to adjust this. So you don't need any tool to adjust it. So raise the flame as high as you want. I mean, this thing is going way, ooh, that's hot. Going way out there. Or of course you can lower it to conserve fuel. If you wanted to, it's up to you. One thing to note though, so you don't want to put it too low. The higher that it is, I've noticed that when you let go of the button, it takes a second before that you know fuel passes through the lines. So in other words, if you have it on a really low setting, when you let go of the button, it goes instantly off. Right? But the higher the flame is, see I let go of the button, it kind of takes a second to you know clear the line. So just something to uh, to note, personal preference as to where you keep that. But those four burners give you a huge surface area. This is extremely easy to light the foot of a cigar. All right, and I, I use this for three or four cigars so far, totally fine. They're all Robusto size. Actually, one was a double Corona, but um, it really, it, it lights up like that, okay? Because you have a, a really, really wide flame. Um, what's really cool, which I didn't notice right away, and I didn't know when I, uh, you know, picked the lighter, but on the back here, let's put this cap back on. And this does get hot, obviously. You want to, you know, make sure not to touch that. Oh, one more thing before I get to the back. Uh, this entire head rotates. Okay, it stops right here. So it's almost directly at you. It's actually canted that way a little bit. And it rotates all the way to that point right there. And the reason being is that where the button is, depending on what you're trying to light, it's more comfortable. If you're trying to light a candle or something, you know, instead of doing it like this sideways, you can obviously turn this and light downwards at a candle. Or, again, if you're trying to light a cigar, you could obviously keep this far away from you and maybe turn the, the, um, the flame down a little bit, but you can, of course, do that as well. So it's pretty cool. So it rotates all around, which is nice. But anyway, getting back to the, uh, the back portion here, I didn't notice this at all until I got it. I was kind of looking at it a little bit. You can see there's a little finger fingernail cut out. So I pulled on that and this thing came down. So I said, all right, well, what's in here? Right. And I rotated this and I found that there is a little punch cutter in here which is super super cool so uh for all the uh, cigar aficionados out there they're going to use this two light cigars you have a little hidden punch cutter which is really cool right in the back there it's out of the way so make sure you don't cross thread that there we go so it screws down right into the back and this thing pushes down this thing will never fall out but in case you get caught without a, a cutter at least you have an emergency little punch cutter there so, I mean, very, very cool. I love the design. The only thing I would change is not having a chain and a cap like this. Uh, I, to be honest, I'd rather not have the cap at all or just remove the chain and just have the cap so I can just pop it off, put it on the other side. Or most ideally, if you pull the button down, like a lot of other lighters, as soon as you pull the button down, it releases a spring and pops that, you know, 
cap that's built into the lighter. But of course, this is a whole different design. You know, it is what it is. It's my only critique, but it's not a hit on the functionality of the lighter. Um, Huge reservoir because again, you're using a lot of gas. Okay, that's the only downside to a big table layer like this. The pro is you're gonna get that huge flame. It's gonna be really easy to light stuff up. Um, but the, the con obviously is going through more butane uh, at a quicker rate. So keep that in mind. You might need to refill this often if you're, you know, a bunch of people and a bunch of people are lighting cigars and stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Definitely cool, these uh, table lighters. I've never really gotten super into table lighters. Uh, I've had a couple like vintage Ronson table lighters, but I never really used them. I've always been a pocket lighter kind of guy. Lighter came with me wherever I went, you know? But having a table lighter like this, I'm never caught without it. This is literally gonna sit outside the table, so if I want, you know, to have a cigar or something, it's there. I don't have to, you know, start grabbing at my pockets, hoping I have a lighter on me this day, you know? So, just pretty interesting, pretty cool. And like I said, stay tuned, I do have another one, which I like just as much as this one. It is awesome, totally different style, totally different feel. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care.